Yeah, never forget where you're coming from. King Shanga set the trend. Yo, I want to live. Mama said. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, That Mr. TV. Welcome back to another video. Right guys, so I just really wanted to do this sit down video because um, uh, I have been getting a lot of um, inquiries from people uh, wanting to speak to me about moving to Jamaica, just wanting some advice, wanting to know, you know, what prospects are out here um, and especially about work, right? What can they, what they can do for work out here, what opportunities are here. And this is something that I get um, like every day, you know, in my DMs, WhatsApps, um, you know, <laughs> Facebook Messenger, email. This is something that I get every single day and um, I haven't been able to get back to everybody. And now the thing is this, I want to be able to personally speak to everybody, call everybody that leaves me a number, to call them to speak about, you know, um, how they can move to Jamaica, to give them advice. But the reality is this, guys, I just have to be honest. I, I can't physically, I cannot physically speak to everybody as much as I want to. And it was different in the beginning I'm going to be honest, in the beginning I could speak to everybody on the phone, you know, people just call me up and I could, you know, sit and talk for two hours, no problem. At this stage right now, it's, it's impossible for me to speak to everybody one-to-one -one personally. So what I've been doing is, for those people who have been asking for some advice or asking what can they do, or they want to move to Jamaica, they just want to speak to somebody and, you know, just get a little bit of maybe, um, I guess, advice really, um, and some insight. Uh, I've said I'm going to do this video and hopefully this video will answer many of your questions, okay? Um, it may not answer all of them, but hopefully it can answer many or at least some of your questions. And what I will say is this, guys. Um, I can only really talk about my experiences, right? Um, and the thing is, is, I think we have to understand that everybody's experience is going to be different. So if you speak to me, I may give you um, advice based advice based on my experiences out here if you speak to somebody else who's moved out here their, their, their advice or you know what they may have to say may be completely different because they've been through a different experience so i think some of it yes um you can take as solid certain things but some of it i think you're going to have to do your own research and you know um the experience may be different for you but i understand and i appreciate so many of you reaching out to me um and you know just asking you know if there's any little advice or information that i can give so that's really what today's video is going to be about to be about and again guys like i said i can only really talk about my experiences and hopefully you know that can help some of you out there right now if you know my story <laughs> if you know my story you know that i came here um with nothing in place okay so guys I came to Jamaica with nothing in place and I think that's why sometimes I find it hard to be giving advice because it's not like I had everything sorted out it's not like I had all my ish together I didn't yeah I just came um, I wasn't even coming to live I just came um, and yet still here I am so for me it's probably been a little bit harder um, than maybe many of you because at least a lot of you are trying to prepare as much as you can beforehand I didn't have any preparation. I just came I was in the middle of it all. I just had to figure it out Okay, just figure it out and, and, and get along with it and, and try and work at something um, I think the positive thing or the the thing that I had on my side was of course Outlaw was there so he was able to point me in the right direction in, in terms of certain things. Okay, so the first thing I would say is this if you're thinking about um, moving out here or living out here for any considerable length of time, is this. So number one, get your documents in order. 
get your documents in order now by that i mean the basic things like your bank accounts right um your trn maybe your, your, your um citizenship citizenship status whether that's going to be getting jamaican citizenship and a passport whether that's going to be um getting a work permit whatever it is to so try and sort out those basic things first uh, fortunately you can do a lot of these things from the country that you're in already right so you don't necessarily have to come to Jamaica to get these things done um, it may be quicker in certain in certain uh, circumstances but I mean you for the most part you can do do a lot of it from the country that you're in okay so look into that so like I said your TRN your Jamaican citizenship or your passport if you need a work permit your bank accounts um, things like that so that would be number one sort those basic things out and guys I do have some videos I'll try to link them in the description below videos of how to acquire some of these things and I know there are many other youtubers out there who um, have got detailed videos on how to acquire bank accounts CRN citizenship etc so please go and support them as well and watch their videos okay um, it was a bit different for me because I remember when I came here there were there weren't very many people um, especially on YouTube, right, who was given this type of advice. And um, I want to call out a YouTuber. I've never spoken to this YouTuber. I've never met her. But I think it's important to acknowledge um, how she helped me. And I think at the time, she was one of the only YouTubers out there um, kind of showcasing her life, um, having come from another country. And that is, um, I think it's Anisha Adams. Anisha Adams. So I doubt your Anisha's watching this, but if, 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 you know, guys, I know some of you do follow her. I follow her too. Uh, follow her. Great content. She was one of the only people that I saw at that time, and I'm talking a good few years ago, um, who was showing um, and inspiring others um, that you could come and move from another country and live in Jamaica. She, I think she comes from Canada and um, was showing her life living in Jamaica, and she was giving some really detailed and, you know, great information um, about how we could do it too so I remember watching loads of her videos and you know feeling really inspired like oh my gosh yeah you know I, I mean and I was doing that before I even started living in Jamaica right um, I think now there are lots more of us doing it so there should be a lot more information out there so um, yeah that's the first thing I would say get your get your um, get your basics out of the way okay the basic documentation and all that kind of thing um, so the biggest, 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 biggest question I get asked is, what can I do out there? Now, it's such a broad question, what can I do? I mean, I guess you can do anything you like, right? In the nicest possible way. It's really hard to answer that question because the thing is this, we all have different skill sets. We all have different dreams and ambitions of what we want to do. We all, we all have different ideas of what we think our life should be like, could be like. You know we want it to be like once we live out here so i think there are a couple of things to bear in mind what is it that you want to do when you come out here like what is it you want to do what's your purpose of coming to jamaica first of all what's the purpose is it coming out here to live permanently and work and you know um create a brand new life out here is it that you are just looking to come out here for a few months of the year so maybe you won't necessarily need to find full-time employment um what type of work do you want to do do you want to work for yourself do you want to be entrepreneurial do you want to work for somebody else do you want to continue in the, the same kind of work that you're doing overseas so it's really really you know when when people say you know what, what opportunities are out there what can i do for a living it's such a broad question and that really depends on you okay it really depends on you yes i know that um Opportunities out here um, may sometimes seem like they're not as readily available as you know the countries that we're coming from. But you know what? If there's not, if you don't see the opportunity there, maybe you're the person to provide the opportunity. You maybe you're the person to, you know, um, yeah, to, to look into it and to start something new which is not here. You know, um, be innovative, I guess. Um, so I really, guys, I really say it's really about what you want to do. Okay. Um, for a lot of people, it does seem that they don't want to come here, move into here to Jamaica and do the nine to five thing, right? They're trying to leave that behind. Not everybody, but the, for the majority. A lot of people want to leave the nine to five behind. Um, and it, it kind of, I don't want to say it makes it harder, but now you have to start thinking about, okay, what can you do? Yeah, and that's, that's not always so easy, you know? Um, 
guys i'm i'm gonna talk about myself <laughs> um because some maybe some of you have the opportunity to build on something that's already there maybe your family has something there that you can already build on or that you can contribute to that you can enhance a business or, or something like that um, I didn't have anything when I came so a lot of you know that I was doing online teaching and I know a lot of you are interested in that um, and I will say this really quickly on online teaching the game and online teaching has really changed since I was doing it um, a lot of the companies that I was working for back then don't even exist now and some of the companies that I used to work for are not employing people anymore plus there are loads of new online companies online teaching companies out there so guys as much as I can help you in terms of maybe the interview and the mock lesson, um, in terms of the new companies out there, that's something you're really going to have to research for yourself because it's kind of left me behind if I'm totally honest. There's so many new companies out there and lots of companies that have now gone, okay? So do your research. So online teaching is always, is always an option. Um, another thing as well is even guys you see from the business that you know Outlaw and I are doing, um, this is like starting from the ground up, right? Um, so I didn't come here and have anything already in place uh, for me. I just had to figure it out. So like I said, online teaching was the first thing I did. Um, and then, of course, YouTube. Okay, and I know that some of you have, have, have expressed an interest in YouTube. Now, guys, you know my story right now. And I have to keep saying it over and over again. And if, you, if you've been following us for, 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 for a little while, you'll know that, like I always say, if you said to me two years ago, you're going to do YouTube, I'm gonna, I would have said to you, uh, no. YouTube where <laughs> never no not my business um, and it doesn't mean because you do YouTube you have to put all your business out there you just have to be guarded and protect the business that you do put out there you know you just have to know what you put out there and what you keep to yourself right um, but YouTube is an option and so many people have expressed an interest in just being able to come over here and maybe start a YouTube channel and showcase their life guys why not go for it you know and of course if you need advice on that I'm here as well to help you where that's concerned because that's something I definitely definitely know about right I'm doing it um, I know that some of you have also expressed interest in maybe doing tours as well. And guys, we ain't mad at you. Like, I ain't mad. Guys, there is enough to go around for everyone, okay? The cake is big enough for everybody to get a slice. So if tours is something that you think you could do, why not? You know, we're all going to have our own unique um, take on things. We're all going to have our own way of doing things. So, you know, the market is big enough, guys. You know, since Jamaica fly the gate and England has flown the gate and I'm not sure about America, but so many countries have flown the gate where this whole thing is, you know, COVID and pandemic is concerned. You know, you can travel, people can travel. And let me tell you something, people, Jamaica is full of tourists right now, full of tourists. When you go to the airport, oh my gosh, the amount of flights coming in. So if that's something that you want to do, go for it. You might want to put a little twist on it, a little spin on it. Why not? The market is big enough for all of us okay um and again i'm just talking about things that we do and um things that i've done since i've been out here um some of you express interest in starting a business it depends on a small business it depends on what type of business you want to do okay um i know again a lot of people have also expressed interest in kind of like an eco business which i'll tell you what if you find the right location the right spot especially like in the portland kind of areas i think it will go down really well people nowadays are looking to e eco uh, tours and eco um, place uh, places to stay you know natural vibes that's such a big thing right now um, and every time I think about that I think of Portland now not only Portland you can you can do all over Jamaica but um, if that's something you're thinking about then why not um, guys there's so many other options um, you know and I think sometimes think about the skills that you already have what is it that you already do in in the country that you're living in that um, you could transfer some of those skills or some of those or some of that knowledge. Um, I'm not. I'm not. And the thing about it is, this starting a business anywhere is not easy, right? Especially here, it's not easy. But um, you've got to do your research, and you have to just think about, um, you know, what is it that you have to offer, and what is it that people want? What is it that people want that they don't even know they want? <laughs> they don't even realize they need. You know, and you can kind of fill in that gap. Um, so I really say research, guys. Think about what it is that you want to do. What is it you love to do? Where is your passion? I don't think... I mean, I don't think I could 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 come here and do something that I don't love to do. You know, I mean, I've worked many years doing jobs that I didn't like doing. But I had to do it because I had to live. You know, I had to make a living. And now I'm at a place where I'm here and I'm doing everything I love to do. And I am, I am purposely choosing things... Hold up, guys, can you hear that? 
a big chunk like let it pass so yeah I, I am choosing to do things that serve me I'm choosing to do things that make me happy. I'm choosing to do things that I enjoy. I'm choosing to do things that when I have to get up five o'clock in the morning to go and do a book and do a job, I'm happy because I love doing it. You know, I love meeting new people. I love doing the job. I love going to new places. I love experiencing new things. So I think um, that's really important for me and I think it should be for you too. When you're thinking about coming out here and you're thinking about doing a job, do something that serves you. Think about doing something that makes you happy, you know? Um, yeah, so guys, I, this is not the kind of advice video where it's going to be so specific because it can't be. Everybody's journey is different. Everybody's journey is going to be different. And it's up to you. It's really up to you to, to decide what is it that you want to do when you're out here, you know, um, and then work around, and then work around it like that. But guys, I must be honest, it's hard for me to say, tell people this is what you should be doing. You know, I can't. What? What I might think is good, you may look at me and think, nah, I could never do that, you know? So, um, yeah. Um, <laughs> but, so this is a really short video, guys. Um, but before we, before I go, um, oh, by the way, Atlas says manners and prayers, manners and prayers, manners and prayers. Um, before I go, um, I just wanted to remind you guys that Outlaw and I are doing the back to school giveaway. And I just wanted to say thank you for, um, those of you who have given a donation guys and i'm not asking for any donations okay but for those people who have given donations i just want to say thank you so much i see you and we appreciate it and we're going to keep you up to date on how that's going so sometime in the summer we're going to be having a big um back to school giveaway for the for, for the children in outlaws um community that he grew up in I um, mean, it may not just stop at that community depending on how much supplies we have if we have left over of course we'll go you know give out um so yes um i'm really looking forward to that being able to give back yeah really looking forward to that one so I give give back to school um your yeah, back to school giveaway is going to be in the summertime so look out for that um pig pen <laughs> big bed yeah uh, waiting to get the pigs so of course we'll keep you up to speed with that as well and yeah just back to vlogging really i know it's been a long time i know it's been a long time but um see with us please do see with us people we've just been very busy i also just wanted to um I just wanted to apologize as well to anybody out there that feels like i haven't got back to them they've sent me messages and i just haven't got back guys it's not it's not anything it's not on purpose i know that i've seen your message just all chunk can butter i'm not gonna no it's not that um sometimes i see your messages and my head says yep yeah, i'm gonna reply back to that later um but by the time we're on the road let me tell you something guys we've been so busy right that i think in the last two months honestly and truly i think i've only cooked in my house twice now we're the kind of people that we cook every day so if I've only cooked twice in like two months, you must you must know, right? It's pure eating on the road we have to do because we're out early, coming in late and all that kind of thing. So please, people, don't take it personally if I haven't got back to you. I will. Just give me time because remember, this is our bread and butter. And I thank you for all your support. Um, when we get a booking, we have to, you know, we have to take it because, you know, we, we, we're trying to, this is our life. And we're because this is our life, you know, and this is our living. Um, and we're just trying to better ourselves. So please see with me, as I said. Um, guys, I think that's really it for now. But I, again, I just want to say thank you to all of you lovely supporters and subscribers, all of you viewers, everybody that gets in contact with me. Um, and I kind of hope this video has helped in a little way. Yeah, I hope it's helped somebody. Um, so thank you, guys. Um, and until the next video. That was it. This one has got to be now, 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 now. Hey, Mr. Cruz. If it's money, we don't talk about it, cause we don't brag about it. House on the hill, that's how we go about it.